To start the relief grind process, choose the relief grind icon on the AccuTouch 3 controller. Replace the 1 inch 25 mm wheel with a 3 8 inch 10 mm wheel for relief grinding. Set the gap between the fixed finger and the grinding wheel by unlocking the lock handle at the rear of the assembly and sliding the assembly up or down to adjust the gap between the fixed finger and the grindstone. The gap should be between 1 16 and 1 8 inch, 2 to 3 millimeters. Push and hold back the index finger while using the infeed icon to move the grinding stone up until the real blade is trapped between the fixed relief finger and the grinding wheel. Adjust the wheel up or down until there is a small gap between the real blade and the relief stone when the blade is resting against the fixed relief finger. Check for clearance between the grinding stone and the real blade just above the one you are grinding and confirm the relief angle to decrease the relief angle. Verify the diameter and the number of blades on the reel on the controller. Move the grinding head to the left until the grinding stone comes off the blade but the blade remains on the fixed finger. Move the left proximity sensor so that the stone aligns with the edge of the reel. Traverse the motor back to the right travel limit. Check that the fixed relief finger has cleared the blade and that the indexing relief finger is positioned to catch the reel blade as it indexes. Adjust the dowel pin up or down if needed. Turn the spin drive motor on. The spin drive motor will apply a torque load against the fingers. The relief torque is preset but can be easily adjusted. Use the manual traverse icon to traverse the grinding head all the way to the left. Watch for proper clearance between the grinding wheel and the reel blade. Check for proper clearance between the index finger and the front side of the blade on the return trip to the right proximity sensor. Also verify that there is enough clearance between the fingers of the reel blade and spiders. Stop the traverse on the right proximity sensor and verify that the reel has properly indexed and advanced to the next blade. If the reel has not fully indexed to the next blade, increase the torque setting on the spin drive motor by pressing the green plus torque icon. The torque meter with a blue to red background indicates the torque setting. Click the hidden button at the top of the screen to show the torque number. Once you're satisfied with the test grind, turn the grinding motor off. Press the auto icon. Select a program from the five preset programs. Verify that the information is correct on the screen and press the green check icon. Press the program run icon. The control will turn on all necessary functions. Watch the grinder to ensure that it's cycling properly. If the grind is too light, press the quick in feed icon. You can also move the wheel down by touching the quick down feed icon. Set the traverse speed knob to approximately 22 to 24 feet per minute, 7 to 8 meters per minute. The return traverse will have lighter contact than initial traverse. When the program is complete, the control will turn off all the motors and the grinding head will stop at the right travel limit. The blue light on the grinder will flash. You can now open the doors and inspect the relief grind.